Today we will discuss about how to use matrix table and have our tax value in our matrix table without the matrix table aggregating our values into a single row based on the row columns. And also we will discuss about how are we going to use a single column search for multiple columns. For the first part, let's just look at uh, how to prevent Power BI matrix table from aggregating our values. So here we have the first three columns which is wholly owned subsidiary and then the last two columns partly owned subsidiary and associate companies. What we have here is tax value for our values over here and then our rows. Typically, if we place any values, whether it is number or tax, Power BI for the matrix table will aggregate the values based on our drill down. For example, how we drill up the last value over there, it will based on the values over there. And then it will sum it up for us. So sometimes we might not uh, want it to sum it up for us. So how are we going to prevent them from aggregating our last uh, row field information and also how are we going to use a single search for multiple columns for example if we have uh, we want to look for bc so bc is in the last column in the field value so let's say we want to have a research for technical so we have some information reside in the third column over here and some information reside in the first column or second column it will appear all as a single search how are we going to do this type of search in power bi is the topic that we are going to be discussed through today we will start off with the new page we will place a matrix table over here we will draw our first three rows wholly own level two level three so let's just place over here and our values will be our partly own and associate we will rename here one quick one if you look at the property for our values what we have for since they are all text, what we have here is we only have first last count or count distinct. All of this will give us a single row of information where they aggregate based on our row field over here. However, for this case, uh, I would not like it to aggregate for me for our last my last row level three row. So I will expand it all for better visibility. I will remove the subtotals and then for the row headers I do not want the indentation and for better visibility I will have horizontal grid over here so as we can see for the first row of information actually it has four rows it's supposed to have four rows so usually if we just leave it like this the remaining three rows will be aggregated into a single one and it will only able to have uh, any one of this selection so if i want to showcase all the information for this uh, three uh, column so my last row column is supposed to have three information and i do not want it to aggregate so what we basically do is we will have our unique id so if we look at our source table here we have a unique id we just need to put the unique id in our row value and we are able to display all the text value uh, every single row so this is my unique id i just simply place a unique code over here so to display all the information just click the matrix table we just pull in the index into the row 
so now I have it over here and then I expand it click down over here expand it so this is sort of cheating or uh, tips to enable uh, all the information to be displayed however this information does not need to be displayed at the user end so basically we just hide it so if we hide it this way since this is well, word wrap it will expand down so if I do not want to expand now I just simply put one dot will be sufficient so and then we just need to hide this row and then that's it we are able to show every single row of information based on the group over here now we will discuss about the second part using a single column to search for a multiple column so this is the text filter if you do not have it you can search it get more visual in the marketplace this is a text filter so we are going to use a single search to search for multiple column in order to do that we need to go to power query and then look at our data table so here we have a company where we have wholly owned subsidiaries L, L2, L3 and partly owned subsidiary associated company associate company and index to do a single column search first we will duplicate this table and then let's call it a company search where are the five columns we would like to compile it for a single search is from here to here so we will select these five columns and right click and then we just select unpivot only selected columns then we have attribute and values we will rename the value as companies and you will see once we unpivot some of the information will duplicate itself for example uh, where we have information over here our index once we unpivot it will repeat some of the information will repeat itself so these are the information i want to highlight first and then we just close and apply once we close and apply we will go to the make a relationship with our fact table so to do that we go to the model view we select our company search we have index so we just need to connect the relationship index with index so as you can see the direction is wrong because we want the company search to search within this table company so we just edit properties as just now where we demonstrate the company search uh, some of the information in the index will repeat itself so it will be many to one so in such cases probably the eye doesn't have the other direction so we will select both so that it can cross filter both and then click ok so now we are able to use this single column in the company search table to filter anything over here so we will go back to our report page now we just need to pull in the company value into this table so now for example when we search for i would like to search uh, information for this column for example up here so we just that up here so we are able to search it over here so if we have other uh, company we like to search let's say vietnam vietnam although it's not in any other uh, is in level two we are able to search so any column in here we are able to use a single column to search through so the final report is something like this so it will be useful if we want to create such uh, type of report uh, to able to search through our text information in multiple columns and also it will be useful if uh, some of our data where we want to display all our data without a uh, power bi matrix table aggregating our values so let's look cap on what we have done today basically there are some limitation of for matrix table where we can prevent our information from aggregating so as you can see that our text usually we have first or last 
and count this thing and count. So Power BI for the matrix table you sum it up for us and same goes to number. So to prevent it from aggregating, what we does is we create a unique ID and then place the unique ID in the row field where we can see over here text field. This is actually uh, our index. This is uh, for this report page. You just place the unit ID in the row field at the final uh, field column over here and then expand all, all the way out and then just hide it over here. And then for the second part, we need to use a single column to have a, to search through multiple column. So basically we just have, since we already have a unique column over here, next is we duplicate the table and then we want to use a single column to search for what are the colors we want to search, we just unpivot them. So for this report case, we have five columns over here, we just unpivot it. And then we create a relationship with the unique ID. So since the ID and ID we already have for both table, we just connect it over there. So when we use the search, we just need to use the attribute value, we use the values over here for our search value. So this sum out our report. So this, for example, this will be a quite useful. For example, if we select uh, some, we would like this maybe So such report is quite useful. For example, uh, this is a final result. We are able to have a quick search and then select to pin our information. So once we select, we are able to have a quick view over here for all our information. So that's all.